All right, welcome everybody. It looks like uh, people are just getting on to the Hangout. I see the numbers coming up. This is where we were yesterday. Uh, we were saying how smooth things were going, and we started getting on a rant. I don't know if you were with us yesterday from just briefly in the beginning. The numbers started coming up, 40, 50, 60 people, and then they started dropping off. And then we realized that something happened with Google Hangouts, and you weren't able to see us. And we didn't know it, but Google Hangout actually recorded us. But we decided to postpone the entire Hangout until today. And the reason was, if you were hanging, you're wondering why Google was a little bit glitchy yesterday, you might see that we look a little clearer today. We're in HD now. So Google Hangouts is now in HD. So if you're doing traditional webinars and you were saying, hey, but I can't get HD in Hangouts, I didn't know it was coming. But yesterday we had a little bit of a hiccup with Google Hangouts. And today, load it up, and it says, if you have the bandwidth available, you can do HD. So you're seeing us in HD. Hopefully it's clearer for you. And I want to talk a little bit about what we're going to be training on today. Uh, first, if you don't know me, I'm Jerry Rocco. I am the director of marketing for 22 Social. So a lot of the words you read, I write or oversee the writing and, and whatnot. Andrew, he's in the middle here. He's our creative director. So a lot more than just the pictures you see, a lot of the interfaces, what Andrew handles. Andrew, can you hear me loud and clear? Oh, stop it, guys. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody! Happy Wednesday. Um, yeah, we're we're feeling a little better today. I, have you checked to see if we're actually streaming smooth here? Yeah, I see us. We're streaming smooth. All right, all right. Great. And I'm going to introduce Mr. Greg Ryder. Greg, are you, can you hear us right there? I can hear you, but I want to get one of those big uh, audience claps. I, uh, I, like, I want to be a sec. rock star too. And Greg Ryder. Everybody, the famous Greg Ryder from the Angel Network. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Usually Andrew Andrew starts getting into those a little bit later in the hangout. Unfortunately, no, we're we got bringing the we got, energy today. Yeah, we got the energy up <laughs> real fast. So, um, folks, you're on the line. We're going to be talking about how to find partners, how to find leads, and of course, how to close sales on Facebook. We have our good friend and business partner Greg Ryder on the line. He's a professional at doing this. And um, Greg, why don't, why don't you talk a little bit about what you're going to teach today in the first 30 minutes? All right, cool. Now, I first want to start off by saying thank you for everyone showing up. I'm a huge respecter of time, and I remember when I first got into public speaking, the guy that got me on stage, I was in front of 400 people my first time on stage, he said, if you're not giving value every five minutes, you'll never speak on my stage again. So not only am I a huge respecter of time, but I want to make sure that you guys get something out of this that's tangible, that you can use, you can take with you to make more money, find more leads, and get some stuff. So what we're going to do in a little bit is we're going to demo live a secret software that we had created for ourselves and after using it and showing it to other people people want it so we've commercialized it and we're making it available to people we're going to show you the secret software to get leads to find joint ventures and to find basically what I'm going to refer to as Facebook's best leads that can generate the best ROI for you and this is not Facebook advertising okay so we're not talking about Facebook advertising this is completely different these are strategies and software combined that can really change your life now in addition to that these strategies and tactics we're going to share, you can do without our software. Right? We're going to show the software live. We're going to demo the software live. We've used the software to get people to show up to this event. There are affiliates on here. We're doing that kind of stuff. But you don't necessarily need to do it. So stay tuned. We're going to do this. Now, at the end of this, we're going to make an offer. Right? And we're doing something different that uh, when I first met Jerry and Andrew and Renee, this platform that they have, this app, 22 Social, this app, the idea that we can stream our hangouts live on Facebook is awesome. It's incredible. But what makes it 10 times more incredible is the fact that my affiliates can stream this on their fan pages. They can promote this event saying, hey, come listen to Greg Ryder, marketing expert, share some, some advanced marketing strategies on Facebook, and send them back to their fan page. And this event is right now being streamed and syndicated on multiple fan pages with the idea that then their affiliate link will be underneath this and we are testing something and doing something for the first time and I just want to give it up for Renee and Andrew and all of the guys that, and, and Jerry, if I call him Jeremy one more time, for some reason I met Jerry, what, eight months ago and I called you Jeremy like a hundred times. It's like I'm going to fix that, man. But um, with Jerry, these guys have been a great help to me. Now, I it just it's unbelievable what they've done and where we're going with this. So to me, I'm glad that I'm the guinea pig for testing this and what we're doing because I'm always about innovation. I'm always about doing stuff. And so we're going to share with you some really, really innovative tactics on Facebook. And we're using innovation to drive traffic, to drive voices, and to get stuff done. So stay tuned. In the next 
however long we go, leads, customers, and I'm going to share with you like one case study where a 26-year-old kid made $150,000 within seven days of using the software and these strategies. I'm going to share with you how another lady had a tea company and made over $1,000 a day promoting her tea using these strategies and this kind of stuff. So we're going to give you real live case studies and then what we're going to do is we're going to have you give us some of the keywords and some of the stuff and we're going to leverage some of the people that are watching this right now and we're going to help you live online and we're going to really give you some real stuff that you can use regardless of whether you uh, end up taking us up on our offer at the end of this thing. So we're being straight up front. There's going to be an offer at the end of this and we're going to offer you something we stream is extremely valuable for you and your business and can make you more money at a faster pace. So that's kind of what we're going to go over today and I'm super excited about that. Well, Greg, I want to take a minute to just talk to everybody about, you know, why we decided to do this in the first place. Because in the past, you know, we don't want to be a channel at 22 Social, a channel for people to run their products through. But we feel really comfortable with you and we, your product itself. We like the fact that it's, people are able to get the leads. They're able to find uh, partners and get customers with this. And it makes it easier for them. The fact that you're going to come out and train them how to do that even without your software. But um, for us, we really wanted to test the model. You know, we tested the model of event marketing. And that helped our company, you know, just start knocking on the doors of our heavily, you know, heavily funded and deep-rooted competitors very, very quickly. Now we're out to look to really break around in the affiliate market, and so we're really happy that we've met and we've we've saw your pro, we've, you know, we've tested out your product. We've had the chance to get our relationship together, and um, we feel really comfortable offering this. And the other value for everybody watching this is, if you haven't been watching our wall at 22 Social, we've given you the opportunity to become an affiliate with Greg and also simulcast this presentation on your fan page, so you retain all the likes, you retain all the leads and you make all the affiliate commissions because the person who's best to describe the product would be the probably the creator to demo it and to answer questions of it and just a little bit of something about Greg guys it's not just some somebody we met you know at a bar somewhere um, Greg's got 31 years experience in the corporate finance world capital he's worked at 21 years old he was the youngest owner and operator of a full ser service investment banking firm they did over a hundred million dollars in financing dozens of IPOs mergers acquisitions uh, worked with startups. He's the CEO of five different companies. One's Angel Network. Um, they help get funding and show uh, startups how to get funding. Uh, Children's Entertainment Network, BizPad, which is kind of like a um, a base camp. Uh, he's got Be Your Own uh, U LLC and the Writer Group. And Greg, you just started. Uh, what is it? The out of Angel Network, you started doing dot com San Diego, right? And that's to help. That's to help just small business and entrepreneurs dominate their market, just on and off. Yeah. Offline, no, the, right? So you've been yeah, doing no, this. This isn't your first pony show. You've been doing this almost 30 years, right? Yeah, no, the bottom line is that we've been raising money for companies, taking companies public, helping entrepreneurs. I've been referred to as an entrepreneur's best friend. But what we recognize is most entrepreneurs, although they think they need money, they really need marketing. Right? They really need a good web presence. They really need good marketing strategies. And if not so for their business, their product, they need it for investors. Because you know, when you're raising money from investors, you're marketing to investors. So you better have your language down. You better have your packaging down. You better have your branding down. You better have the questions at, answered that they're going to ask. Otherwise, you don't have you don't stand a chance of raising capital. So we coach entrepreneurs. We help entrepreneurs, and so we. The reason, like this software was created, was to help entrepreneurs drive traffic, drive leads, drive customers. And the reason we have .com San Diego was because they all need a good web presence. And I get so tired of hearing about these webmasters. They spent five grand, ten grand, two grand setting up a website and a website presence that doesn't do what it's designed to do, and that's generate leads and generate sales. I can tell you're passionate about this, Greg. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> why don't we? Well. Folks, if you know what we do at 22 Social, we make it really easy for you to set up landing pages inside Facebook on your fan page that also are mobile enabled. And because everything's done inside Facebook, the world's largest person registry, when people take action on your pages, you're able to capture their Facebook verified and authenticated information into your contact manager, and that can go into an email autoresponder. It's just it's a tool for you to easily build and put your offers on Facebook and mobile. Now, Greg saw what we were doing. Loved it. Said, "Can I? I have a Facebook product. I'd love to sell my product using your product." And then we told him about the ability to not only host live broadcasts like what you're watching right now, but for all of his affiliates to also do the same thing. But the problem for people, Greg, is leads. You know, they don't know where to get leads. Let's say they're starting out. They have nobody on their fan page. They got nothing going on. How? I guess that's the biggest glaring problem for people is how do they first, you know, find leads or find their target market. 
Well, you want to get dive into this. Let, let's go ahead and dive into this whole presentation and kind of get going on some of these problems. Because I want to kind of outline the problems and I want to get going. But real quick, I got to spend a couple minutes. I'm a CEO of a company, and I'm I'm a little bit different than most CEOs in that I do have a team of people, and I have programmers, and I have virtual assistants, and I have team members, right? But whenever I get involved with somebody like you guys and your app. I personally, and Jerry can attest to this, is I personally have downloaded the app, installed the app, play with the app, and used the app, and I'm blown away at how simple this app is. And I just want to kind of, I actually want to share my screen real quick, and I want to show you guys uh, a couple things because um, their app not only does this streaming, but what it does is it allows anybody, like literally an eighth grader could do this. These are pages that I've created with their app. I have my Angel Investors Network where I have a, a webinar where we talk about how to raise money for your company. I have another thing called the Interview with God. And with my with my page for the Interview with God, here's what it looks like, right? And they can come here and they can watch this beautiful presentation that's been seen by over 100 million people. But what's really cool about it, I'm not going to get into all the details, look at all the leads that I get of people that are watching this with this little thing they call SRM. And every time somebody makes an action, it records them into my system. But my point is, as a CEO, a guy that's not, I'm pretty technically savvy, but I don't endorse people like they don't endorse people. We're, we're, we're men of high integrity. We don't endorse products we don't use and we don't believe in. So I'm using it. I'm setting it up. I've learned it. Now I'm getting my team to learn it, and they'll start setting it up and doing it for me. But I actually have created these pages, and what blows me away is the simplicity of what they've done is a guy like me that's not really a webmaster, that's not really a programmer, can actually um, you know, use their software to create these opt-in pages, these squeeze pages, and this kind of stuff. So hats off to you guys for doing that. Okay, so let me kind of move into my, my thought process here, and let's start with problem number one is you, you need leads, you need traffic, uh, you want customers, and you know Facebook is the 900-pound gorilla with over a billion people, but, but there's so many tactics and so many strategies and so many ideas and so much noise out there. What do you do? How do you do it? Where do you go? Facebook advertising and create your own excuse me, create your own fan page, and there's just a million different things you can do. So that's a problem that we want to solve. So as, as a guy that helps consult, work with, and, and help entrepreneurs, it's always about sequence. It's always about getting things in the right sequence, and what's your best ROI. As a guy that's raised hundreds of millions of dollars and, and work with thousands of companies, Whenever there's a new idea on the table, I like to create what I call a little mini business plan. Then I like to have that little mini business plan set out with the goals, the strategies, the tactics. Then I like to get the bean counters, and I don't have any—I don't mean that term disrespectful. I think bean counters are some of the most important people of business. Is they're going to run the numbers, and they're going to tell me my investment of capital to implement this business is going to cost X, and my return on investment is going to be Y. So we're really all about ROI because we can't not. We can't do it all. We can't do everything. So you really got to look at what can I do and where's the big ROI. So that's what I want to talk about today. We believe the strategy we're sharing with you today using these advanced tools, 22 Social, Facebook, and this software that we're going to show you live, that we're going to address that issue. Second issue is it is a good strategy to build your own fan page. And I don't, I don't disregard that and I don't disavow that you should have your own fan page. But I do believe that the time it takes to build a fan page with any significant amount of numbers is a very long time process and it should be part of your plan. And I always tell people small things done consistently over long periods of time guarantee success. So you should have a fan page. You should start building that fan page and you should grow it over a long period of time. But for immediate results, for immediate leads, for immediate cash flow, it just isn't going to cut the mustard. So what you have to do is you have to figure out a, a, a solution to that issue. Issue number three that, that we're going to talk about is when you did create a fan page and you go back a year ago, two years ago, and three years ago, fan pages really were the holy grail of making money, driving traffic, massive traffic. And the reason why is you could buy leads for cheap. You could buy likes. I mean, I, I didn't mean leads. I meant likes. You could buy likes for cheap. You could, you know, use F, F, the advertising platform to buy likes. You could still buy likes for fairly inexpensive. But then, when you made a post, approximately 70% of your fans who liked your page would see your post, right? Well, can you imagine if you had a, a fan page of 100,000 people and boom, it's like sending out an email, 70% of your people see your post. Well, that was the that was when people were just making a fortune doing that kind of stuff. But what happened about a year ago, they changed their algorithm and now only about 20% at best see your post. 
right? So only 20% of the people see your post. So now I have a fan base of a million people and I make a post, only 20% are going to see that post. So what happened to the other 80%? So that's a big, big problem. So what we have to, and, I, and again, I could spend an hour just talking about this one issue, but let me kind of hit on the highlights that I think about from a strategic tactical standpoint. One that says to me that if I make a post on a fan page and only 20% are seeing it, that, that means I can make that same post five times at five different times during the day, and more than likely the same person is not going to see the same post twice. Wow, I can't do five emails to my database in the same day because I'm going to get a lot of unsubscribes. Well, with likes, people aren't really taking the time to go unlike, right? And then Google's got some algorithms where they probably keep you from the same person seeing the, the same post five times. Secondly, so it gives me the ability to make more posts, but then it also creates an opportunity for people that have fan pages that were making good money with their fan page by doing different things, and now they're not because they're not getting the same likes. So a lot of these fan page owners are looking for other ways to monetize their pages. Now, second notice to that is there's a lot of fan page owners in a lot of niches that have created huge fan bases that don't know how to monetize their fan page. So that's kind of why we created the software and what that's all about. So those are the kind of the three major problems that we wanted to kind of address. Now, do you guys got any points you want to throw in and, and, and tap onto that? And if not, let me kind of launch uh, and, and go into a couple case studies and show people what, what I'm talking about. No, I think I think I just want to boil that down a little bit. That last one, which was, there's plenty of fan pages out there that can post on your behalf. You just have to give them a relevant reason to do that and a re and some sort of benefit for them. So let's say you go over to a fan page and and you have a product for um, uh, lawn care. You go to a fan page that has hundred thousand people that are following it for lawn care but they're not monetizing at all you can say hey let me do you mind if we put a 22 social app on your page one of these apps on your page with my video and a call to action every time I make a sale I'll give you X amount of dollars or how about I put an app on your page and we do a live performance you promote it to your list we do a live uh, a live event on your page and if I make X amount of sales I'll give you Y amount of the profit you know that percentage so is that is that really is that really it? You know, you're just coming to them with an offer where they can monetize their list, and you give them a percentage. You kind of a JB deal. Is that what you mean? Yeah, that's that's actually definitely one of the strategies and tactics, and that's why I'm so excited about your app and what you guys are doing. Can you imagine? Uh, I, I, and, I, and I'm predicting this. Like, I, I want to be known as the guy that either either I'm going to fall and, and, and fall hard because I predicted this, or I'm going to be the guy that says, yep, yep, writer predicted that, is that this platform that you guys have created is going to be the new wave for the major launches, the major affiliate launches, where guys are making $5, $10 million on a hangout, right? Why? How could that possibly happen? Because when you can syndicate, or it, the word you guys used was, uh, what was that word you used, Jerry? You used a different word than syndicate. You used... Uh, Simulcast? Simulcast. So that's yeah. like a TV term probably. But when you can simulcast this type of a hangout where we're, we're teaching, giving valuable content, and then making an offer on 100 Facebook fan pages, 1,000 Facebook fan pages, 2,000 Facebook fan pages, it doesn't really matter, 10,000 Facebook fan pages, you literally could get your, your, your simulcast in front of hundreds of thousands of people. Can you imagine? Imagine that. Imagine. Now, this isn't happening today. This is the first one we're doing. But imagine a year from now, we got a thousand affiliates all simulcasting on their fan pages, and we have a hundred thousand people watching this live simulcast. And then we make an offer, and 15, 20 percent of the people take us up on the offer. We could do millions and millions. And I'm predicting right now that this platform that these guys have created, that they're soliciting, they're using, is the new wave, the new technology, and it's going to happen. They're going to they're going to break all kinds of records with affiliate marketing, and they're going to do all kinds of cool stuff with this platform. And to kind of give you a pace, a, a case in point to that, what if you could find a fan page that had, let's say, 10 million fans and had engagement of 5 million fans? And you went to them and you said, hey, you guys want to help monetize your page, get this app, simulcast this Google Hangout, invite your fans to come watch it. They might get a million people watching it, right, because they have such high engagement. I'm going to show you this in just a second. And it's just, it's just phenomenal to think what could happen with that and, 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 and how far we could take this. And, and, and then here's the, th here's the key about that. People are much more likely to promote an event to make money with their fan base if they're sending them back to their site. They don't want to send people to my site. They don't want to send people to opt into my form, 
right? And that's the whole problem with traditional affiliate marketing and the, and the huge shift that, that 22 Social is making is if I go promote somebody's product, I send them to somebody else's list, right? And then they, they get in their list, and then that list hammers them, and then they send it to somebody else. And now I promote, and I've been an affiliate marketer since 1997, okay? So every time I have a list, one of my lists is 158,000 people. I've only promoted three people's, other people's product with my list. Why? Because every time I promote somebody else's list, it gets diluted and diluted and diluted, and they get hammered and hammered and hammered, and eventually I ruin my list. Well, with 22 Social, I can promote it to my fan page and create my in, increase my list and not get them, not ruin my list. I mean, I, does that make sense the way I'm saying that, or can you guys say that a different way, or can you add to that? Because this is profound, people, profound. Andrew, I'm going to let you go for it because you've been quiet this entire time. Got to let you get out here. I think you're muted. <laughs> no wonder you've been quiet. <laughs> Still muted. Going once, going twice. <laughs> you think you think he's done this before? Yeah, I know, right? So you don't have to be a professional. <laughs> Andrew, you gonna get that or? Uh... All right. So <laughs> technical thing. Okay. So the bottom line is, is there's I'm 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 right. This is profound. This this can change the world. So let me let me go over a case study and show you guys one example. Okay. So again, let me share my screen again, and uh, start screen share. So my first case study starts with this site called Godfruits. Um, there's a there was a kid who started this website called Godfruits, and it was a faith-based Christian inspirational website. And he wanted to start driving traffic, and he wanted to start getting joint ventures. And so he wanted to find fan pages that had a lot of fans. So here's the software tool that we've been alluding to. It's called FB Lead Finder. And I'm going to type in the word Jesus. And I'm going to tell it to give me 500 results, and I'm going to hit go. Now what it's going to do is it's going to search Facebook, and instantly it comes back with, 500 results. Over here on the left, it tells me the name of the fan page. Over here, it tells me what category they're listed in. Here, it tells me how many likes they have. Here, it tells me how many people are talking about them, how many people are engaged in the conversation on that fan page, and how's, here's how many people that, 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 that these fan page owners that will allow you to message them. I tell people they want you to message them. They've got, they've got the tool. To let, they want you to message them. So now this cool this tool so this tool is so cool because I can click on this link and it automatically takes me to their fan page so I can look at their fan page right or I can click on the yes over here and it automatically takes me to the message box and I can private message that fan page owner right so I can also sort by talking about. So if I want to find the fan pages that have the most engagement, I click on talking about. If I want to sort by who has the most engagement or the least engagement. Now, now keep in mind all of you social media marketers out here. You see these, these, these fan pages that only have 22 likes, 285 likes, 378 likes. This is an amazing tool for you to find customers because they need some help, right? But again, I can sort this now. So what it's done is it's found me 500 leads. Now, so this kid used this tool to jumpstart this website and start driving traffic to this website. After using this tool, he then started private messaging some of these fan page owners, and he said, I've created a tool that can help you drive some money and monetize your site. And anyway, he ended up getting conversation with a couple of these fan page owners, and the next thing you know, one of these fan page owners made him an offer to buy this website. They bought this website from him for $150,000, and it was less than three months old. They then are some very powerful people. They were some very powerful people. They then brought in Mike Huckabee as a partner, so now it's presented as Mike Huckabee's website. So the site was sold for 150 grand by some big, powerful people. He got a $5,000 a month uh, a consulting fee. In addition to the 150 grand, he retained some ownership, and now he's partners with a nationally known person named Mike Huckabee, who actually ran for the president of the United States. All because he used this tool and used the strategies, right? So you think about that. Now let's type in um, let's type in golf. So there's another guy that was using this for golf, and he was like he he had been given the advice to create a golf fan page. Start liking, start posting content, getting you know, getting people to come to his fan page. And after nine months, it had taken him nine months to get nine thousand people to like his fan page. And 
he was then turned on to these kind of strategies where you go after partnering and joint venturing with fan page owners and getting involved in the conversations that they have on their websites and, 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 and private messaging the fan page owner. In the next three months, he got in front of 800,000 golfers, drove massive likes to his website, created a big opt-in list, and now is making money every week and every month because he used these strategies. Those are just a couple case studies that I wanted to show. So you got to think going back to problem number one, going, if you want leads, right, and you want website traffic, is it a better strategy to build your own fan page and, and do that, or is it a better strategy to go after some of these fan page owners that already have 180,000 likes, already have 148,000 likes, or going back here to Jesus, if you had a Christian or faith-based product, you know, a million likes, of 1.4 million likes, 5 million likes, 22 million likes, it's just, it's just a no-brainer. So then the strategy becomes, how do you talk to them? What do you say to them? And we're going to get into a little bit of that today. Hey, but, Greg? Yeah. Mind if I just jump in real quick? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I usually like to break down marketing into either you have your list or you have somebody else's list, one way or the other. Having your own list is the cheapest, fastest way to create instant business on demand. Now, if you don't have a list, you either have to pay to access somebody else's list or you have to create some sort of win-win relationship with them. Now, to pay to access somebody's list, I mean, that could be as much as a TV commercial. It could be a radio spot. It could be, it could be you're paying somebody for an e publication. You're paying to get a banner on their website. You're paying to access their list to make it your lead and your customer. Once it's your lead, it's your list, and then you can drive that traffic a lot easier to your website or your app or wherever you're making your offer. So what Greg said before is like, you know, they have a list already as fan page owners. Your goal is to take as much of these lists and to bring it into your list. So your list keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, so people come to you to JV, and so you can monetize your list. When you have a list, you can create instant business on demand. Without a list, you're dead in the water, Okay. So these people, he's he's giving he's finding you're he's giving you a way to find your target market because these people have already found your target market. They've created a community around it. Now he's giving you the basically a simple, easy way to find them in chronological order as far as you know how busy they are and a way to communicate with them. So that's how you can start getting their list over to your list. All right, hopefully that made sense. And I guess the question now is, I found the page. I know where my target market is. What do I say to them and how do I say it? Now that that's obviously key and depending on your business and what you're doing and how you're doing it, that could be uh, that could be, you know, many different things, but but here's a few of the engagement strategies. I private message people, and when I private message people, I use I I, I make it obvious that I've looked at their fan page, I know what it's about, and I make reference to that. I share with them what I'm looking for. I put my name and my phone number and my email address so it doesn't look spammy going, look, here's my website, here's my name, here's my phone number. And let me give you another quick example. Let me share my screen. I'll show you another example. Um, so another another site that this is real, this is real. This isn't that we didn't, we're not talking about this. This was done. So there's a website called geniusmoms.com. Uh, I had a lady working for me and she wanted to launch this website. So we launched this website called geniusmoms.com. We went to the, the lead software and we typed in moms and we went go and it found a whole bunch of websites that had to do with moms. Okay, this is a brand new website that we had started called geniusmoms.com. Uh, let me see if I can find file, open, I don't have it right here. Um, I'll just paraphrase what I know we said to him. We, we wrote an email that said something like this. It said, uh, Dear Mom, I recently came across your fan page titled, uh, where did I go here? Uh, titled, Thank You Mom from India, or I Love You Mom, or I Love Being a Mom. And we're launching a new website called GeniusMoms.com, and we're looking for contributing authors and bloggers. If you would like to write for our set, our website, we would love to have you do it. Here's our name, our phone number, and our email address. Please give us a call or contact us. So every day, like clockwork, we private message 10 to 15 of these people that said yes. That solicitation. Hey, we came across your website, made reference to their page name, made reference to what we're looking for, 
and we ended up picking up 77 guest bloggers in about three weeks and drove thousands of website visitors to the website to check out the website. So you can see here we had Lynn Bannis and Sherry McGuire and Kristen Brown and Whitney Butler, all these different women creating content for our blog. So that there's, a, there's a case study of what we did and how we did it as it related to that particular niche. So now with my son's website. Hey, hey Greg, before you yeah. go on, hold on, what you just said was pretty huge. i got to stop you. You use this tool. You used other fan page owners to go find, to go locate, to go locate people who, who had authority already. You found them, asked them to write for your site. They wrote for your site. They probably, do you think, that, well, they obviously brought their own content, but they probably promoted your site after they wrote the article for it, right? They probably oh, yeah. went to their list yeah. and said, hey, I just did an article. Go to XYZ site and check out my new article. And so not only are they providing content for you, which is hard for everybody, you know, hey, where do I get content? What do I say? Have other people do it. And then where do I get traffic? They're going to bring their traffic for you anyway. So this is just, I just wanted to stop there and just kind of bring that up. You found a way to find people to partner with, basically, and bring their own audience and their own content. <laughs> That's pretty neat. I love the sound effects. No, that, I'm, I'm glad you, you you brought up that point because that's one of the best. That's another one of those great strategies. Going if you're going to blog, I mean, yeah, blogging's good. You can make money blogging, but if you're doing all the content, it's a lot of work, right? If you can go get 70 bloggers or 100 bloggers or 500 bloggers, you know, uh, 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 it's blanking my mind. There was that uh, the Huffington Post. I remember when the Huffington Post and Ariel uh, Ariel uh, whatever her name was started the Huffington Post, but she has thousands Huffington. of guest bloggers. <laughs> Huffington. Oh, that's right, Eric Till Huffington. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to call her something else, uh, but she's got thousands of guest bloggers, and that's how she built that site up. And now I think she sold it for hundreds of millions of dollars. I can't remember the figure, but guest bloggers is a huge strategy. And when you're done right and you communicate with them, and it just it, it works. So. I want to say w the first month we launched that website, we got those 77 guest bloggers and we got our traffic up to over 5,000 visitors. And then I think we got the second month over 10,000 website visitors and we built an opt-in list and it just started going. And unfortunately, the girl that was running that and, and doing that, she ended up getting hired away. And uh, somebody offered her like three times what I was paying her. And, and I'm like, okay, well, you better take that job. <laughs> so uh, I'm actually looking for her. Somebody who wants to run GeniusMoms.com. So if you're a passionate woman out there and you go, I can run that. I want to take it over. I want to use it. We'll give you the tools. We'll drive traffic. We'll help you with that. We're looking for somebody to run GeniusMoms.com. So that's a great case study, right? That's an excellent, excellent case study of, of how you're doing it, uh, of how you can do this kind of stuff. Um, we were talking yesterday about investors. So let me go back to share screen share again. And... Uh, so let's say uh, you're looking for investors and you got to know the term. So let's say we do private equity. Any advice with uh, the terms, Greg, like, you know, uh, like keyword, keyword research, where would people do keyword research? Any idea of like some of the, any tips for that? Well, no, that, that is important. Keyword research, it's like anybody who's been on the internet for any length of time recognizes that you, everything online starts with keyword research, and you can't assume you know what's going on. And so what I do is I go to Google, I type in keyword tool, and I use Google's keyword tool, and they're going to be taking that away out of the public, but maybe it's in your ad, AdWords account. I'm not sure what they're going to do with it, but they're saying that it's going away. But there's other keyword tools out there. Just type in keyword until you find them, and you use keywords to find people that you're looking for. So I know private equity means that those are people that uh, may be private equity investors, right? So you can try different, you, know, you just try different uh, different terms and you can find leads and, and groups and fan pages in those terms. Or like somebody said to me, real estate investors. So I typed in real estate invest, or investors, right? And then you, you can find pages that have real estate investors. Now keep in mind, this is not a spamming tool. There's no button you can click and say, oh, automatically spam all these people because I don't believe in spam. And this is not a black hat software tool. We use Facebook's uh, APIs to create this software. So it's 100% white hat, meaning it's, it's legal, it's lawful, it's, it's, it's within you know, the way to do internet marketing. But when I sit here and go Real Estate Investors Club, right, and I see 16,000 likes, there's a good chance that those 16,000 people are investors and they're real estate investors because this is a real estate investors club. And I see another one, real estate investors, with 14,000 likes, right? Now, again, social media marketers, take note, they got 31 people engaged out of 14,900 people. They can use some social media marketing help. <laughs> and look, you can private message them. 
So you use this tool to find the pages, and then you can just go through. And, and again, you know, I love what uh, I love what uh, Jeffrey Gittimer said in his book. Facebook is the new cold call. It's the new cold call. If you're a salesperson, and everybody's a salesperson, whether you want to believe it or not, if you've got a business, you're an entrepreneur, and you're trying to make money, you need to be selling your product or service. Now, maybe you don't want to think of yourself as a salesperson, and I don't want to think of myself as a salesperson, but I serve people, and I provide valuable information and valuable content and valuable advice. So if you're that kind of person, by using these tools and using Google, it's the new cold call. I mean, I, I used to have a brokerage firm, and I had as many as 40 brokers working for me, and literally... I gave them one of these things, and I said, make 400 phone calls a day. They literally were dialing phone, 400 phone calls a day, and this is back before automatic dialers. And then it, I, if I came in and they had made those calls, we, you know what we would do? This is all Scott's truth. See this thing I'm sitting in right here? We would take their chair. We would take their chair away, and we would say, you have to stand, and you have to make phone calls. And if you didn't start standing, you didn't get your chair back. So until they made their calls and had their call quote up, we we would take their chair. Uh, that's kind of I don't know how that looked live, but <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, it worked really good because people want to sit down. They didn't want to stand all day, so they'd get those calls going. And actually, you know what? Sales always went up when they were standing. Always. Uh, so when you use Facebook and you get the leads and you start communicating with the targeted leads, right? Going, I know these are real estate investors and I'm looking for real estate investors or I got a property I want to sell to real estate investors. Here's a way to contact them and communicate with them, right? You can go to a fan page. And again, this is this is Facebook Marketing 101, right? And I'll go over a couple engagement ideas and you guys can add on some stuff here too. But if I come here to this real estate investment club, the first thing I'm going to look for is I'm going to look for how many likes they have, how many comments they have, and how many times a particular post has been shared and you're really not only do you want to find likes that have I mean fan pages that have a lot of likes but you want to look for a lot of engagement and in the engagement you you want to make comments on the comments and don't spam don't sell don't spam don't sell you really need to get in, involved and create value right create value so like I'll give you an example um, here's a shameless plug for something I'm doing uh, I just wrote a, my first book and it's on crowdfunding and uh, I'm literally gonna start doing this next week so I'm gonna use this tool I'm gonna find crowdfunding fan pages and I'm gonna go to all these fan pages I'm gonna get involved in the conversation and because I wrote a book and I've been studying crowdfunding for the last nine months I'm gonna start making positive comments on crowdfunding websites so um, like and then what you do is you start asking questions everyone teaches you if you want to get engagement ask a question so Hey, should I use Indiegogo or Kickstarter? But the point is, you come in here, look at this. Forty people like it two hours ago. Um, hey, Greg, we're watching you, not the screen. Just so you know. Oh, you are. Yeah. How do I get back to the screen? Okay, good. Thanks for saying that. So yeah. let's see. Go back to share screen. While you're finding that, I want to point out just two things. You know, a fan page owner. You look at a fan page with lots of likes but no engagement, right? So that tells you right away this person. Actually, let me take this back to, let's see, was this three weeks ago when we did, Andrew, I don't know if you're still with us here, if we can hear you, but uh, <laughs> we did uh, Sean, Sean Lonnie, he was, he was the um, plant-based food can coach. Can you hear me now? I can hear sure. you now. Hey, hey. I just switched to that side. Okay. Yeah, you work. Um, but plant-based plant -based, uh, cooking. One of the things, the short stories he shared was, a couple of maybe like two years ago, we started a fan page, and it started getting all this activity. And he didn't want it, he didn't know how to monetize it; wasn't making any money. And he actually gave it away. It was like going vegan or something like that. And he actually gave the site away. We were like, "Oh my!" The thing was taken off. He's like, "I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. I just gave it to somebody." And it turned out to be some big deal uh, because he didn't want to. At the time, he just didn't want to deal with it. It wasn't making any money. So either they have a page that has a lot of likes, and they're going, "I have something valuable here, and I need engagement, and I need engagement because I want to make money." So you can come to them with something like 22 Social and say, hey, I'm going to do a live broadcast on your page. This is going to help your engagement. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. I'm going to train X, Y, and Z. What I need you to do is we're going to put the app on your page, and I need you to just create an event, make me an administrator of the event, and just invite everybody to your event and do some posts and whatever, promote the event. You get people there, and this will be the only place we're playing it. Anyone buys, I know they came from you, and I'm going to give you a percentage of the proceeds from each sale. 
or you could even not even not even do that. You can say, hey, I'm going to take the money from these sales and I'm going to donate it to charity. You know, you can do a lot of different things. There's there's just a lot of a lot of things you can do. Fan page owners are looking for engagement and money, and if you come to them with a live event and a way to make money. I'll let you go back. And Andrew, since you're out, do you want to mention anything? Then I just hand it right back to Greg. No, all I can say is this stuff is really cool, Greg. My mind's like spinning just looking at <laughs> how, how simple it is to just get all that information right in front of your face. And then, and, and we've been teaching, you know, leverage other people's efforts and to get because I mean most of our app users are kind of just getting started with this stuff. So the fact that you can look through people who have been successful already and leverage them. And contact them, and you. And now that with, you know, some of the training we've done, you have all this great information on how to use Hangouts, how to use Facebook in a whole new way, create this awesome, engaging experience on Facebook. So you have a lot of ammo to come at them with and say, look what, what I'm doing on my page, or, you know, some type of angle like that, and say, look, let's work together on this. We can pitch this, you know, whatever you want to pitch, or do your interview series and interview some of these people, and, and that's how you start getting your list built. Is getting exposure in front of their fans. So I think it's so cool, Greg, that uh, <laughs> you put this together because, I mean, I mean, uh, you know, we had Stephanie the other night. Um, we helped her get set up with a yogi, and she's going to start interviewing yoga teachers. And, like, who else would she want to interview but the top <laughs> social media yoga teachers out there? So now she's going to become – I mean, how quickly could that happen? All she has to do is get one of the top 100 people to get on an interview and do a, a simulcast of the interview on, inside Facebook. Now Stephanie has exposure to thousands of yogi students across the country, around the world. It's incredible what could happen and how fast that could happen. Yeah, even Sean with the plant-based cooking, cooking, the vegan, he could just plug in all those pages, connect with them, and do cooking shows with them yeah. You know, from wherever they are. I mean, Greg, I, I know, Andrew, we're going to be using this in the Spanish market yeah. uh, because, you know, not a lot of people there. There's probably a lot, not a lot of competition. So we're going to probably be using this tool in a Spanish market. And uh, I'd love to see what happens with Stephanie using this. You know, people yeah. check if anybody's following along what we've been doing. You know, the Joda Pros. We we uh, we built up two brands the first the first month. And I think Greg, I'm going to get them to use this tool because I think it's. I, I know it's going to work for Stephanie. I know it's going to work for Sean. Just if they work it. So um, this will be part of our case study. So everybody's watching it happen just live right here, you know. Yeah, that's awesome. We, we make it up as we go along, guys, and you get to watch it all real life. I mean, it's it's real life. No, so, seriously, Greg. everybody, this is a game changer. You guys are just tuning in or you're watching. This is a game changer, and let's let's go back and do the yoga, and let me kind of finish that, that thought I had a second ago. So I'm going to go back to sharing my screen. Yeah, this and stuff so you're teaching right now, Greg, is awesome. So keep going yeah, with this. So, so again, selfish plug, saving America one crowd at a time, the entrepreneur's roadmap to tap into $6 billion of capital from crowdfunding. Uh, it's, it's, it's my new book. If you want a free copy, go get a free copy of Saving America One Crowd at a Time. And really, I want your feedback because I haven't published it yet. I'm going to publishing soon, so I'm giving away some free ebook copies to get some real feedback. But again, imagine I come here to the tool. I use this to go, and I get involved, and I get engaged in conversations, and I get known to provide value on these fan pages, right? I read them. I spend time. I, pr I, I provide value. And then my name keeps popping up. My name keeps popping up. And the next thing you know, hey, I've got a new book coming out, and I'm talking to the fan page owner. They see that I've been active. They see they're they're going to see my post on there if I'm real active, and you think it's going to help me if I get these guys without in the crowdfunding space to promote my book? You bet it is, right? Now let's take yoga for a second because I, I like that idea. I never searched for yoga, so let's say yoga. I'll do studios, let's say, and I hit go, and. Again, you, you want to start building up your stuff. 500 results, right? Look at this. Flower Power Yoga Studio, 22,000 lights, and you know, all, all these different yoga studios. Ten. Look at them all, right? Uh, just 500 results. And then check this out. Here's something else you can do. Let's say I do Yoga Studios uh, CA for California. Or let me, let, yeah, I don't, I don't know if CA will work, but it should work. Uh, you can do Florida, you can do California, you can do them by city or state. So now it came up with 77 results. I could do Yoga Studios Florida, Yoga Studios San Diego, Yoga Studios Los, An Los Angeles, you name it, you can search for it. And now you really even niche it down even more. And again, for a lot of these niches, they don't need to have millions and 20 million likes. You know, you just need to get these people engaged and start offering your products and services to them and joint venturing with them and helping them get involved and exposing your their audience to what you're doing. It's very, very simple, uh, simple concept. Now let me show you 
I want to go to my PowerPoint here. I'm going to show you. A, I'm going to go to a screenshot, and uh, I want to show you this case study. So, so right here, there was a case study of this lady. She had a tea company, right? And what she did for six days, she she found tea, and I'll go and do a coffee and tea search here in a second. And she got involved in the conversations on some of the really highly trafficked, highly engaging coffee and tea fan pages. She made comments, made comments, asked questions, what do you like, what don't you like, got engaged, got people, increased her likes, increased her brand, increased her traffic, and then after four or five days of this, she then said, hey, I've got a, a new tea, and I'm, I want to offer free samples. So she offered free samples to her tea, but you got to pay shipping and handling. So she had 526 requests for the free sample. And then after they paid for the shipping and handling, she offered them a $99 upsell, and she had 46% conversion on the upsell. Why? Because they were engaged in it, the conversation. They were in a. She, they were highly targeted, highly qualified leads, and she made 242 sales out of the 526 requests for free. She made $20,078 in revenues in, in, in that six-day campaign. And when I say hey, she wasn't advertising, she was doing what we're talking about here. So again, if I type in uh, coffee uh, and tea, I'll do plus tea. Hey Greg, I just want to point out one thing you said right there. You don't, for everybody watching, you don't need to contact the page owner to, to access their their fans. You can just engage on their page with class. You don't want to be engaging on the page like check out the best coffee in the world and blaring your links out there because nobody wants that. Nobody nobody wants that's like coming to a party, jumping on the table, and telling everybody about your business. Nobody, nobody wants that. Uh, you'll get kicked out of the party. You got to come in and be engaged with people, give value, and then, pe and if on your link, like if you look at like when we comment on anything, you know, mine it's like Jerry Rocco, partner at Twenty Two Social. And if somebody's interested in myself about my commenting and any of the value I have, they can click through to my fan page and learn Which more about me, where the offer could be for the free coffee too. Yeah, which they do all the time, right? Yeah. That that's that's all part of the engagement strategy. So you look at this, and here's another thing that you got to understand. So when it comes to retailers like Starbucks, their Starbucks page. Do you think the people that like Starbucks and that are talking about Starbucks are some of Starbucks' most best customers? You bet it. You bet, right? There's 35 million people that are that are coffee fanatics, and then you go through the Pete's Coffee and the chocolate cake and the eight o'clock coffee and the coffee.org and the Coffee Cafe Express. Do you think that coffee buyers, distributors, uh, distribution outlets, distribution channels, you know, the people that work for the companies that buy and sell coffee, buy and sell tea, do you think they like these pages? Do you think they're engaged in some of these pages? You bet they are, right? So here's another strategy that you have to think about. If you're looking for wholesale distribution channels, you got to go find you know those those pages those sites whether it's Walmart or whether it's you know 99 cent stores whatever it is get engaged in those conversations and you can network your way and you can communicate your way and you can com you, know, you can you know, make conversation your way to find those distribution channels using these tools and these strategies and all this software does is it speeds it up right because why speed equals money Right? You can go do these searches on your own. You can try to find this stuff on Facebook. It'll take you forever. This thing does it in seconds. So, but again, you think about that and you just go, man, it's just endless what you can do. And that's kind of why, you know, when you become a, a customer of ours, we're going to continue to do trainings. We're going to continue to do these live hangouts because really it's about helping you, the entrepreneur that maybe hasn't worked with a thousand, um, uh, you know, uh, companies and businesses, and continue to give you ideas. Continue to give you leading edge, advanced marketing strategies that can change your life. Now, let me let me as it relates to that. Let me show another screenshot. I got a PowerPoint here. I did a webinar last night, hey, and Craig, uh, I just searched for coffee. It didn't look anything like your search. <laughs> 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 nothing, nothing, uh, nothing like yours. <laughs> And then I searched search for yoga real fast too, and it was like the only page I really caught up was Stephanie's page. So uh, I'm in my own little world here. I I don't have access to everything that Facebook does without using your tool. So right. Cool. So so let me let me let me. Can you guys see the PowerPoint now? You're seeing my PowerPoint now. Yeah, I'm seeing your PowerPoint. Another thing I don't think people know. Um, I just want to do a couple of a couple of things for folks that do want to purchase because it was a um, you know a comment on here too. Some folks don't know how much it is. It's ninety-seven dollars for the software. It's a one-time purchase. 
Um, that includes updates, right, Greg, and support? Yep. That's lifetime, and, and, and that price will be going up, and, and that includes training, and we will be separating the training from the software. It's, a, like, it's, like, it's like I'd be uh, crazy not to buy it at that price. Plus, okay. you guys, for your, for your customers, you get a special deal that you want. You can share that with them, too. Right. Uh, put in the code, capital letters, SAVE20 now. SAVE20 now. Okay, when you go in there, that's going to save you $20 on that. That's going to be good until the end of the day. Uh, save 20 now is the code. It's $97, $77 with our, with our discount. Um, you do have an affiliate commission, and it's 50%, isn't it? 40% first 40. tier, 10% second tier. Okay, they can, they can talk to you more about that. But uh, the, thing, the, the reason why you know, we're participating in it, of course, because we're a customer. So we have our link at our, on our page that says save 20 now. And you can get it through there. Um, if you're on one of our simulcasting partners' pages, you can do the same thing. Click through on their link. Use the code SAVE20 now. And if you want to get 22 social, go to the bottom of any of the pages that you're watching this on and click the two, 22 at the bottom. And the person that you're watching the, this presentation on, they'll get the credit for you. Um, and if you get three and 22 social, yours is free. So I just wanted to, you know, we're cresting an hour so far, and we haven't told anybody any, any, anything to do yet. So I just wanted to make sure. No, that's good, and and, and I and I just for training purposes, I want to show you guys some some slides, and I want to kind of go through a couple of things because I think this will uh, this is what we do when we do our webinars and we're we're sharing the software. Um, so let me so you can see my screen now, my PowerPoint. Yep. yep. Oh yeah, I can see. It. So so it's like we all know how expensive it, and hard it can be to get one client, right? One client, one product, and 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 sometimes it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Well, we're using FB Lead Finder. It's like having a magnet where you can find all the needles fast, right? And as I said earlier, speed equals more money faster, right? And the faster you get to your target market and let them know what you do, the faster you have money in your pocket, right? And remember the 26-year-old kid that closed the $150,000 contract? What was, this, what was the value of this tool to him, right? Because really, it's like if you're going to make an investment of $97, what's the value? What is the value? What's, what was the value to him? His life changed. Right. In addition to the hundred fifty thousand dollar contract, he also gets five thousand a month. He still owns a percentage of the company, and he's partners with some of the biggest people in the country using this software and these strategies. And by the way, in fair disclosure, I've been talking about this kid and talking about this kid. I can personally vouch for the contract. I read the contract. I reviewed the contract before it was signed, and I was there when he signed it because this kid was my son. Now, what was the value to me, right? My son is now 27. He did this when he was 26, but there he is at the closing table. There was like 25 pages of documents for his first $150,000 contract. That is a $150,000 smile on his face, right? That was a $60,000 a year, you know, consulting agreement on his face. And now he's partners with some major, major players. So what was the value to him, right? So what's the value of the software to be? And it's only the limit you put on it, right? Your creativity of how you use it and what you want to do. And so, anyway, I wanted to kind of show you that about my son because as a, I'm a proud dad, man. That literally did change his life. <laughs> when you think about that going, wow. And sure, he made good money on the internet and he did really cool things. He's a cool internet marketer. But you, you know, he, through this tool and finding the right fan page owners and negotiating good joint ventures and then proving he could do what he did, that site now gets about 10 to 15,000 people a day. It now has a, an opt-in list of over 150,000, and it generates about um, 9,000 a month in AdSense ad income. And it's less than a year old. Godfruits.com. All using this tool and these strategies. Okay, so that's what I, that's the power of what we're talking about here. Is you got to leverage these tools and do this kind of stuff. So here's what I want to do. Can I, I? I'm not the whole. Google Hangout expert yet? Can you can can you see people like if they tell us search for this Greg search for this Greg and let me do some searches for some people that are actually watching the Hangout? Well, we can do that. Yeah, sure. We can uh, we can ask people to do that in the comments. Uh, so, folks, if you have something you want us to search, just ask us in the comments and we can answer them live just right here. Or, Greg, if you're ready. Um, we tried this last week, and it was, you know, we were ready for anything to happen. But what we did was we threw the link to the Hangout into the comment box, and we allowed the entire audience to just jump in, ask a question, and jump out. And we just kept kept it free flowing. I don't know if we're ready to do something like that. I love it. Let's do it. 
All right, that's that's real live TV, everybody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this in the comment box. All right, here we go. Add a comment. Give me a second here. And what what we what everybody can do is just click on the link. You're going to be out here live with us, and then you can ask us a, a question. But if you're out here, try to try to make it pretty quick because we might have other people waiting. We can only get nine on at the on the bottom at a time. Um, popping it in here now. Love it. Love technology. Done. Okay, that's just commented. That's going to take about 30, 60 seconds for everybody watching on the live end because they're just just a slight touch behind us, and then they can jump on and join us. In the meantime, I'm checking out some of these questions. You know, we got a pretty good sized crowd on here, but they're really quiet today. <laughs> you know, we uh, we're, so if you're out there, let us know uh, what you think about what we're showing you here. If partnering with fan pages is a great way for you to get leads and customers, uh, share what you like about the software. If you got the software, let us know. If you have questions, let us know. Uh, if you want to pop on, let us know. There's a question here. How do I get 22 social and what is the cost from George? George, scroll to the bottom of the page that you're watching this on. You should be watching this somewhere in Facebook or even on mobile. Scroll to the bottom of the page. There's going to be a little icon that says 22 social. Just click on that and it's going to move you through. You can get 22 social. You can build one page and you can even host this, this entire simulcast free. Free forever. So you can just go ahead and click the button, get it now free. You can build one page. If you like it and you see the value in creating multiple pages, going mobile and having some of our other uber cool features, it's going to cost you $22 a month. Okay? Easy. You can try it for the first month for only $2. Cancel at any time. And if you refer three at any time that are paying members, yours is free. So I just wanted to get that out there to answer George. And we have a guest. I, we see you. Um, Tracy. Tracy. Hi, Tracy. We Don't can't hear. hear you though. No. It there's a little gear in the top right hand corner of the Hangout. If you click on that, that'll probably say where the sound is coming from. If you're on a Mac, you can use your white headphones too. Can't hear you now. <laughs> <laughs> no luck. No. It's like what I was going through. Okay. Still nothing with Tracy. Tracy, we'll give you. How a about we give Lin Lyndon? You can maybe pop in the question in the comments if we can't get you, Tracy. Yeah. Lyndon, Lynn, can you hear us? She's on mute also. I think I heard something. No. No. I didn't hear. Wow, this was so smooth last week when we did it, wasn't it? <laughs> Okay, I'm here. Can you hear me now? There you All are. Right. Great. Say, so, so how do you pronounce your name so we don't get it wrong? Lindalyn. Lindalyn. Thank you, Lindalyn. Yep. Thanks for joining us. It's great fun. Good. Good. So, what's your question for Greg? Well, I'm playing with the software as we're doing this. I love it. Um, I was looking for salons of all kinds. Do I have to be specific on it? Well, the more it, it, you know, without trying it out and doing the tool, you want to be specific on what. What is, tell me what you what you want to market to salons. What is your product? What is your service? I have a weight loss and supplement product that you want to distribute and sell to salons and have them be resellers for you. I actually, have them be ambassadors for my com company. And and what is it, what is an ambassador? Um, we are a uh, MLM. Oh, you're an MLM. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're you're wanting to recruit people to get involved in the MLM with you. Right. So, what would your solicitation be to that salon owner to get them to talk to you to want to talk to you? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, this is all brand new to me. I'm really working on getting all of this out there. Um, only been with the company for a year and trying to grow and expand out of my area. Cool. Well, this is this is kind of a good one because there's a lot of MLMers, a lot of network marketers, and I love that model. But it is a, it is a tough model because there's it's like what do you say and how do you say it? And one strategy that I teach from a marketing perspective is try to keep a solicitation under nine words. So like if I'm soliciting restaurants and I email or fan page uh, or do a private message to a fan page owner that's a restaurant and I say to him, "Do you cater weddings?" 
question mark. And that's all I say. Do you think that that restaurant is going to reply to me? Of course. Right? Of course. Right. So now I've got them to engage with me and get into the conversation with me because I've asked them if they cater weddings. And then my second question is, can you handle some more business? Right? And then, of course, they say yes. And it's like, well, I'd like to organize a call because I have an idea to bring you five or six customers and I'd like to talk to you. That might be a strategy. So with you, it's like, what can you say to that salon owner that would get them to respond? And I've never worked with salon owners and I've never worked with an MLM in that space, but it might be um, – are you open to uh, expanding your product line at your salon? It right. might be, can I send you a free sample of our product? We're looking for salon owners that, that would look like a free sample of our product. You know, and you want to get them engaged with you. or you can, and, and again, so the whole point about FB Lead Finder and the software is come up with five or six different strategies as far as what words you're going to say. Private message five or ten people a day. I never tell people, don't go private message 100 people, 500 people. Facebook might give you a warning. Facebook doesn't like it when you all of a sudden don't do this and all of a sudden you start doing something. So to me, it's really about consistency of doing five or ten a day like clockwork and say for one week do this solicitation, the next week do this solicitation, the next week do this solicitation and start to split test and track your results and try to figure out what works and what doesn't work. And then once you hit the holy rail of, of marketing and languaging, you can then uh, kind of scale that and go to the next level. So does that make sense? Yes, totally it does. All right, very cool. Great. Well, we appreciate it. We hope that you have your affiliate link and you shared this thing and you're making money by sending people here today. So. I did. Nice, I got my nice. team on today. All right, very cool. So let's go to the next person. I, uh, I have one thing before we go. Just, okay. um, just uh, it, you know, when you're doing network marketing in, in that business, you know, if you have a fan page that brands you really well and you can find the targeting, the targeted fan pages – um, you don't necessarily want to talk to the owners of those fan pages. I mean, because they might even be competitors of yours. But if you go into that with, you know, coming coming from value, so you come in, you're giving value to their page, but not coming out and saying, "Hey, I have a competing product." But it says, you know, founder of this this fan page. They are going to follow you through, and they are going to start checking you out. And if you're doing things that nobody else is doing differently, they're going to start. Even if it's not working, they're going to start thinking it's working. And you manifest the actual thing working <laughs> because they're going to join you because like she's doing something new. This is a little bit different. I've never seen it before, and it's very non-confrontational. I can see myself doing this. Therefore, can I do it too? They think they can, and they join your business. Right. You have something unique to share and teach them that nobody else is teaching them. Yeah, I like that comment. Well, I know she was she was wondering how to actually search correctly. Is there a way we can show a demo, Greg? Yeah. Well, let me go back over here to my screen. Oop, I've got to share my screen. Screen share, boom. And then we're going to have Muhammad out. Good to see you, Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, see, it's I would, this, I would Muhammad. Probably, for, for, for this, I would probably say beauty supply, beauty, beauty uh, salons, right? I wouldn't just say salons. Like, let's, like if I just do – now, see, I don't know how to spell salons. That's A-L-O-N-S. <laughs> what happens? What do I get with salons? I might get bars. I, I might get some of the wrong results. Maybe hair, hair salon. Um, we'll see dressing salons, a cut above group salon, salon. Now I got a lot of salons. I mean, look at all those. Yeah. I don't know that worked. Just cuts. So really, it's about you know you can search for beauty salons, you can search for health and beauty, and this is where the the Google keyword tool comes in, and you can put in the word salon, and it would give you other words that they use, and that's the other thing I kind of want to show. And let me just do this really quick, and then we'll get a question from Muhammad. Um, cool. Has how many people have heard of a site called Quantcast? Quantcast or Alexa. Oops, I didn't spell it right. <laughs> Q-U-A-N-T-A. Quant. C-A-S-T. So I use this site a lot to find uh, who are the demographics of a website. Um, so if I typed in, let's say I typed in... 22social, um, 22s.com. www.22social. Let's see if you guys come up. I don't know why it didn't work on that first page. Try 22s.com. Everything is going from there. It's risky here. Yeah, no, you're not in their database. Let's say, uh, let's let, let's do www.nfl. Right, let's do nfl.com. Give a good example. 
So here it shows me how many people, the traffic, the trends. Look at their trends way down. It's going to pick up because of uh, uh, football season started. But it shows me down here these same people like Walgreens, Rite Aid, CVS, Geico, Allstate, PBS. It shows me stuff, and I can click no more. I can click and see more, and then I, I can find out the ages, the genders, uh, the cities, the countries. You can just find out all kinds of stuff. So Quantcast is a place where you could do some research, and if you have a site that's in the tea or coffee business, like, well, again, that, that would probably be another good one, too, is like Starbucks. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I just wanted to kind of show you guys. This is what you do. Go here, put in a website, shows you Starbucks, and you just start clicking around here and getting all this, uh, I call it reconnaissance, all this evidence and all this information. Um, of what's going on here, the other sites they like, uh, traffic, all kinds of stuff, and then you can also do this with Alexa, a l e x a dot com, and Alexa kind of does the same thing. And between these two sites, you can find out Alexa ages, kinda, genders. Alexa kind of dropped off a little bit. It used to be really good. Um, yeah, I, I think they're charging you now, and if you have a busy site, they charge you fifty bucks a month. Used to, I think it's like eight or fifty bucks a month. But they, t they but don't the tell you as much they did. You can still get some data and try to find out, hey, is my da is my traffic men, women, boys, girls, where they're from, what are, what are the sites they like, what's the competition, uh, all kinds of stuff. Look at this, gender, males, females, college education, browsing locations, what part of the country they're in, um, other different, all kinds of different stuff about them. So you use these sites to come up with similar sites to expand your, get out of your box of, uh, hey, if I'm going after salon owners, okay, I get that. But people that are salon owners, what else do they like and where else do they hang out? And then that kind of it helps you expand your where you can market to them and find them, if that makes sense. So with that being said, let's go and see what Muhammad's question is. Hey, gang. Andrew, Jerry, Greg. What's great up? to be here. I, and I want you to know I'm, I'm a little frazzled. <laughs> I'm just so geeked because I'm trying to take notes. I'm watching you all, and I'm trying to formulate a question all at the same time. So there you go. I think that I think that most of the people um, are are really wondering application. This is a wonderful software, you know, but how do I apply it? And just as you said, um, looking for salon shop owners is one thing, but then digging deeper, what is it that they want? Because if we're not providing value. What's the point? Why would they want to joint venture with us? So here's here's a, a question, and I've got a team that's listening to this. We're going to huddle up after and put our heads together and, and think about applications, but I want to shoot this at you. Um, we are a part of a global community, um, the, the group that I belong to. And um, in, in our global community, what we have is a set of tools, a set of online marketing educational resources and the strength of our global community, some of the most profound thought leaders on this planet. And this community is designed to help people um, more effectively communicate their talents, their skill sets, their projects, their special interests to the larger audience on the World Wide Web. So um, there, <laughs> we, we look at people who are interested in personal development because we have tools to assist them in doing that. But we also look at businesses that are interested in scaling up their income from that business from wherever they are to wherever it is that they really would like that business to be. So we have a much broader reach and I'm wondering with that in mind, what do you see, just maybe a few seconds, um, how we could part couple you know, what we're using with 22Social and your tool to um, to help businesses more effectively communicate their brand, their ideas, um, and and I'm gonna I'll just hand it over to you. Okay, no, I, I love that question, and I and I think it's fantastic. And obviously, the the combination of uh, the the software tool and, and 22 social and doing these doing the hangouts I mean you obviously know how to get on a hangout you jumped right on here you're obviously very smart because you're leveraging you know your time and getting a little mastermind you're gonna get our feedback and stuff and get some great thought thought mindsets here uh, but if you start doing hangouts you can actually use this tool and we could do this live if we wanted to but use this tool to invite people to your hangouts 
and says, hey, look, we're doing a live hangout that helps small business owners. We're not charging for anything. So one of my strategies is, is like this hangout that we're doing where we give valuable information, we teach it. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put it in my members area. And I don't want to have it out there for the average person to see, but when you become a member of mine, you can go in and watch it and replay it whenever you want. So I like the model of, hey, if you show up to my live event, it's free. But if you can't make it for some reason or you're, 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 you're not there, it's good. Or if you want to have a replay and you want to go back and take your notes and watch it again and take your notes and watch it again, then you have to become a member and it's going to be in the members area. Well, you could do the same strategy here. And with the FB Lead Finder tool, you have a, just a, a, a plethora of of people that you can communicate with as far as thought leaders, as far as personal development leaders, as far as book authors, and every one of those book authors, whether Charlie it's Darren Green, Hardy, like this hangout we're doing, who's got a great, somebody's awesome. got to mute, mute him, uh, like Darren Hardy, I love his book, uh, The Compound Effect. Right, mm -hmm. and so this is perfect, perfect advice for you. Start, get five people on your hangout, get fifty people on your hangout, get two hundred fifty people on your hangout. Like Jerry, when you guys started and did your first hangout, how many people watched your first hangout? Well, in all honesty, more than we wanted to, uh, because we didn't know anybody was watching. But when we actually were ready to bring people in, I think we, you know, our first hangout had like sixteen or twenty people in it. Okay, uh, and then then where it went from there. Yeah, now I mean, now we don't. Now we just we just go live without any promotion. We have over a hundred people on them every week. Um, so I, you have to start somewhere. I think I think you're right. right. You know, you have to get started somewhere. Listen, I appreciate you guys. Uh, one last thing: how do, oh, how do we tie this into what Greg was speaking about earlier, and that is um, lead collection, contact list expand, exploding your contact list by joint venturing. I think I'm going to have to do the replay and, and, and listen to that again because those things were huge where, where you were culling lists that had over a million, uh, over a million uh, people that were a part of that page or members of, of, of a page or likes to a page and, and using those pages to, uh, or the owners I should say of those pages to uh, develop a joint venture strategy. You know, we're, we're, as Jerry said earlier, this is a lot about list building. You know, if you don't have a list, if you're not using this to build a list, then, I mean, a hangout is great, but then, you know, how, how do I blow that up? You know, well, let, 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 let me answer two thoughts there, and I want Jerry to address this to or Andrew. But one is, by using Hangouts on Facebook, not only can you build a list and increase your fan page because of their technology, you're doing it, right? You tie in with your Git response or your AWeber, and, and, and it builds your list into your autoresponders right there with their app. And then two, uh, you're, you're getting more likes for your fan page, so it's, it's a double whammy, and it's so less threatening to be on Facebook than it is to be anywhere else, right? Right? Go to yeah. webinar or on, 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 on anything else like that. So you got to do that and use the tool to get and build your database and build your list and treat them right. Right? Give them value. Give them value. Give them value. And and Jerry and I, and again I'm just endorsing it because that's that's what this is all about. So Jerry or Andrew, one of you guys can top that off too. Cool. Listen, Thank you. I'm going to pop off you guys. I'll listen for, for the reply from Jerry and, and Andrew, but I just want to thank you again so much for uh, everything you guys do, Jerry, Andrew, um, 22 Social is just, as they say, off the chain. <laughs> it's just <laughs> incredible. And oh. uh, we love you all madly. Uh, Greg, Greg, you brought tremendous value, and I will be certainly purchasing your book. So thank you again, and I'm going to hop off so others can hop on. Okay, thank thanks. You, and Appreciate I got one question. one last comment, Jerry, but then I'll let you handle it. Is, is, is we're creating a mastermind group for the software on Facebook, a group, a members only group, so we can all share together. This is what works and this is what not work. Because I'm not sitting here saying I'm the holy grail, I know everything. I'm a pretty smart guy, but it's all about testing, it's all about sharing, it's all about masterminding. So that's the other thing. When you own the software, you'll become part of that members group and we can all share ideas together and share what works and what doesn't work. Fantastic. Please drop the link to that, Jerry and Andrew. Drop the link for that mastermind to, to yours truly and anybody else that might want it as soon as you guys get that link. Thank you so cool, much. Dude. All right. Greg, pop it in the, the uh, comment box. Well, that's, well, that's, for, that's for people that own. When, oh. Once you become an owner of the software, you'll get the link. Okay. So, Muhammad, if you haven't got the software yet, go get the software and then you'll get that link.
I got a feeling Muhammad's going to, a lot of his people are going to be using the software. I want to touch on his question a little bit and kind of break it down. And then I'm going to introduce our good friend and business partner over there, James Chapman. I saw you joined us and you, you might even have some good insight to this because I know you, uh, you know that market very well. When you're going out using this tool, some steps you want to identify first is you want to, first thing is you want to identify your target market. Who are you going after? And this tool, you know, find your keywords, the t use the tool, and you can easily identify your target. Okay, so once you identify your target, you found your market, now you have the pages, now you got to decide, do you want to contact the page owner, or do you want to kind of infiltrate their list? You know, if you're going to talk to the page owner, what do they want? They want more engagement, and they want money. So what you have has to either give them more engagement or more money. So they have to want to partner with you on your product because that will allow them to allow, allow you to access their list because they'll bring you onto their channel where you can promote your product. So identify the target market, grab your pages, identify whether you want to go after the page owner or their, or their, their fans. If you're going after their fans, then you want to be – you want to be commenting on the page and again bringing them back to your brand because you're commenting under your name or you can even comment as your business page on their page and what you want to do is like you said Muhammad is give value so they come looking for you and to see what you're up to see what you're doing um, so identify the market identify who and then identify how you're gonna go about it you know if it's a page owner again engagement or money if it's the people on the page you're looking to give value and then go not not the push marketing more of more of the pull marketing, they're coming towards you. Um, and then there's another software out there that, I don't know if it was up, it was down with lead, uh, helping people get leads, but they had a good line, and I know it was tested, I'm sure you've seen this too. It was, here's, Greg, you said nine, this is six. Are you taking on new clients? I mean, that right there, Mohammed, from what I understand about your business is you help other business owners through um, marketing training and also personal development. So what it really boils down to is why do they want that stuff? Because I want more customers, right? So maybe just a one-liner to the page owner to start the dialogue, which is, are you taking on new clients? They're going to say, if you know, yes. Um, then maybe what you want to do is frame it as, I have an awesome two-minute video that over that has helped over 10,000 business owners explode their business and end on whatever. Take a look at it. Here's my phone number. Let me know what you think. And then from the event standpoint, now if you're doing an event on somebody's page and I'm brand new, like Mohammed, you got a lot of people on your team. Let's say I just joined your team and I'm brand new and you say, hey, this is great. You can host my event on your page. I'm thinking to myself, great. Nobody's on my page. So what? You're like, this is how you do it. Grab my – grab 22 Social, grab my feed and here's what I need you to do. This is what you tell your people. You tell them to go – and actually, I have a video on 22 Social on our, on our, on our page right now. It's a big video. Actually, I did it this morning. It shows them how to do it. Basically, you tell them you need to create a, an app on 22 Social with my feed. Then you need to create a Facebook event. Okay. Once you create a Facebook event, you, you tell everybody, hey, the event's happening at XYZ time. Here's my 22 Social link. And you might only be able to message 30 people on Facebook because they might think that's spam if you're messaging more than 30 a day. But here's what Facebook doesn't think is spam. You go in and you invite your entire friend list to the event. So if you're on Facebook, you probably have friends. At least I hope everybody does have some sort of friends or at least know somebody who does. But now if I create an event, I can click invite and I can invite every one of my friends, making them fans, leads, and some of them sales. So hopefully that cleared some of the, you know, the path for you. Um, but you're not on here anymore. James, is there anything you want to add to that? And uh, but before I actually let you go, James Chapman, everybody. Andrew, Andrew, clap. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> James, 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 welcome. Chapman from 123 Edge. <laughs> hey, guys, how's it going? <laughs> partner with 22 Social. Good to have you on, buddy. What'd you think? Great, great to be here. It, I don't have headphones, so are you guys getting any feedback? No, I'm not. Good. Okay, perfect. Um, Hey, first of all, Greg, great to kind of see you on here. I've seen your stuff before. You're amazing. It's great to see you connect with 22 Social. Um, for you guys that know me, uh, you know I run a social media marketing kind of consultancy, and 22 Social is my app of choice for many reasons, uh, the biggest of which is what you're seeing right now, this ability to broadcast Hangouts. And, Greg, you just covered some amazing content today, and uh, I can't wait to start using your tool because – you know what it facilitates is the is the engagement and interaction 
with real people. And uh, as you know, social media is just a tool that helps facilitate that. A lot of people want to believe that we can just automate everything and we never have to talk to anybody. But really, uh, branding, sales, marketing, it all involves interaction, building connection, building a relationship with real people. And the more you can do that, the better you position yourself and the better you're able to, uh, you know, to share your value. And uh, Greg, I can't wait to start using your tool because it just it's going to cut out so much time in terms of finding those targeted people for, for my clients, the, the targeted people that you want to connect with and really engage. So uh, thanks for sharing this today. It's awesome. No, no, I appreciate the kind words, and and uh, and I love getting the uh, the the uh, support and the endorsement from people like you because I'm not a professional social media marketer. Matter of fact, you know we might have to have some offline conversations because since we launched this new version of this tool, I've had the version and using myself for over a year, but we we made it so it was commercially viable and put it in the membership site. And since we launched it, like since like Monday, it's only we only launched this Monday. Um, I've had like four people go, well, can we hire you to do it? <laughs> right, it's like cool tool. I bought it, but now I see what it does. Can I hire you to do it? And I'm like, do what? It's like, you know, do our social media marketing. I'm like, oh no, I don't do that. So uh, right. we're gonna have to get a few trusted uh, social media marketers in there and come up with some affiliate relationship ourselves, and then uh, send you some business. <laughs> That's always <laughs> good. It's all about helping each other out. Yeah, and, and I'm a big believer that you know it, it's even like with my team. I have people on my team that don't do it. They don't have Facebook. They don't do this stuff. And I kind of made it a directive in the last two weeks. No, we're changing. This isn't a this isn't a question if or when. This is a must, and it's now. You know, you must be on social media. You must be using LinkedIn. You must be doing this. And I'm a big believer in the compound effect. Going, you know what? Small things done every single day, right? Compounded over long periods of time, you'll have more business than you know what to do with. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's that consistency over time, and uh, what happens often, people tr kind of spread their focus too wide and uh, cast their net too wide and try to do too many things at once without mastering one thing at a time. And if you know, if you can just do one thing a little bit every day, uh, that's how you grow, and then you can add something else and add something else. But I mean, I'm a, I'm guilty of that myself. So, uh, it, but it's true. You you got to focus on one little thing at a time. Hey Greg, I'm I'm reading some of the questions. You want me to fire some questions at you? Yeah, let's do that. Sounds All right. good. Yeah, I'm on the questions here. Uh, a couple folks wanted to. Well, one one quick thing. Uh, let's see. Kirk was wondering about you know if everybody's using the software is going to get oversaturated. Maybe you can comment on that. Man, you know, there's so many different niches, so many different uh, fan pages out there. There's a billion people on Facebook, so I, I doubt that our little marketing efforts are going to, you know, cause any problems or get anyone saturated. You know, uh, I, I don't see that happening. And uh, I, 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 we, we have like a hundred people, maybe 112 people or something like that that own the software. So I don't see that as being an issue. And if it is, first ones out there are going to get the first benefit. <laughs> right. <laughs> and really, as cool as the software is, really it's about the training. Right. Really, it's about the mastermind. Really, it's about the training. Because without the training, what what good is the tool? Well, then, then you answered another question: Was will there be step-by-step -step training on how to monetize? I'm not a tech, but I'm in the health and fitness business. So I know I you know I got it about a week ago, and I know you've been emailing me pretty regularly. You know, here's a training. Here's the Facebook group. Things like that. So I, I assume, and like you've already said, you have you know your own mastermind and everything in there. So I think that answers that question, right? Yeah, and you know what? Just real quick, let me just kind of let me show my screen real quick, and let me go into the members area. So everyone who's going and you're you're making that investment right now, when you get into the members area, the page will look like this, and so you guys are all seeing my screen, and in here you click on Facebook training, right? There's just a link. Says active resources. Click on Facebook training, and it's going to take you to our training page. We have the quick start video, Facebook keyword search strategies, Facebook wall posting strategies, private message Facebook lead strategies, and then for people that are maybe new to Facebook, we have a whole course on Facebook introduction, why Facebook, do's and don'ts, Facebook ad model, Facebook business marketing, target your audience, rules and tips, Facebook ad anatomy, split testing, bidding strategies, tracking inclusion, and that's why I said you're getting this software that's probably worth $500 itself and all this training for $97 and it's like you got to go get it because I promise you we're not going to keep the price at this, and we're probably going to make this a continuity program and maybe charge 97 a month. 
right? And we're going to continue to add training to this. And when when I start adding training on marketing and branding and bringing some of that stuff to the table, I'm re you know I always tell people I'm a self proclaimed marketing guru, but I'm really, really good at this. And I can take most companies and double or triple their revenues if they'll listen to and implement some marketing strategies that we teach, which is why we invest in companies and why we want to teach them marketing because if I invest in a company that's doing a million in revenues and I take them to $3 million in revenues, I, I didn't make three times return on my investment. I made nine times return on my investment because it'll be worth nine times because I tripled their revenue. So uh, we're going to continue to add value there, and we got all kinds of cool stuff that will be added to the members area. So, guys, uh, before, when I met, when Greg showed me this for the first time, it was a few weeks ago, and you showed me that, you know, before it was all out for the public and all, and you asked me, you know, what do you, you think, $97? I said, I said, yeah, $97 one time until we get it out to my list. <laughs> I wanted to make sure all our people got it for $97. I wanted to get you guys to get this now. I didn't want you to get it. After Greg got it out and everybody tested it, used it, and then now he's decided to make it a $97 monthly when he's got all the training in there. So I would get it now. Uh, between this and 22 Social, you are a lethal marketer on Facebook. Um, Greg, well, I have that, and, 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 and then you put me in the headlock. You said we got to do something special for my database. So you're the only one we've given twenty dollars off for. Uh, but but again, I want to support what you guys are doing, and I want to support. I want I want all my people to get the twenty two social app, and I want to have hundreds and thousands of affiliates, you know, simulcasting these these hangouts. I got a couple of other people looking for some stuff, maybe um, to search also, because we asked them what, what they'd like to search. Uh, one okay. was Napoleon Hill. Another is Finding Love. Um, there's a question here. Does the FB Lead Finder work on a Mac platform? I, I'm assuming the answer to that is yes, right? Yes, it's all web-based. Okay, cool. And there's a couple more things uh, some folks wanted you to search. I can I can give you the terms so they can okay. see what comes up. Let me go back and share my screen. And you know, it's it's not like if you search salons, it's over either, folks. I mean, it's like there's hair salons, there's nail salons, there's foot massage salons, there's you know, there's to tons of different niches. I mean, um, even if you're thinking about you know finding love, there's a lot of different keywords for finding love too. And I mean, love could be I mean, a lot. <laughs> okay, so there's Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, and just start just start telling me some more. Oops. What I do? Where would I go? Okay, so give me some more names now. Some more so that's, keywords. That's Napoleon Hill. So what do you got there? You have, I mean, almost 500,000 likes on one of those pages. Uh, no, for Napoleon Hill, I only got 50 results. So only 50. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, the top one had 477,000 likes, 1,500 people engaged in the conversation. Which again, yeah. so if you go back to social media marketers, it just shows you here's a brand, Think and Grow Rich, that they need some help. I mean, you know, with yeah. half a million likes and 1,500 engagement. They need they need some help. And about the niche and worrying about hey we're gonna we're gonna exhaust this niche. People who like think and grow rich, also like you know how to win friends and influence people. You know if they like win fluent, win friends and influence people, there's probably a list for that. But there's probably also a list for Dale Carnegie or Jeffrey Gittomer or or whatever it might be. If they like this, they like something else, and they're it's just almost endless uh, the niches that you can you know really screw down into. How about oh, wait a sec. I, I two things. I I I'd only put in fifty results. That's why it only gave me fifty results. So, but what I did is I did Napoleon Hill with fifty results. See up here on the top right. I only asked for fifty. But then I copy and paste the Think and Go Rich, and I did Think and Go Rich, and I did I got fifty results. And then I said, okay, let me change that to five hundred. Now I got one hundred and forty three. So again, like you just said, if, if now they got the law of attraction, so I can go and copy the law of attraction, and I can just keep it just it never endless. I can just keep going and go. Okay, yeah. now that led me to this, and we know they're all like minded people. They're all the same kind of people that we want. And now I got five hundred results for the law of attraction. The secret, the, you know, you know, and then you could do the secret and just keep breaking it down and keep going and keep going and keep going and it's just endless, endless. And then Tracy, who was trying to get on earlier, she's a, you know, she's a, she does personal trainers. She'd like to search for personal trainers. Um, she's a high energy brand. Uh, she's, what the product is Verb. Okay, Verb is an energy drink. So I just want to, you know, Tracy tried to come out and she had a little trouble with the sound. So uh, Verb is an energy drink. Why don't you put in Red Bull? 
you know, or energy drink or something like okay, that. Okay, so I did personal trainer and yeah. I got 500 results. Beach Body, oh, wow. TRX, Chris Powell. Now, by the way, just 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 to help her out, Verve is awesome. Vima is awesome. That company. I I've been drinking Vima since I I think it's 2006 when I get involved. And I, and I I do have a small group of people in me, but I don't market the business. But I drink that stuff. And I tell you, when I only a few times in like five or six years, I I for some reason don't drink it for a week or two I get sick when I'm on that stuff I don't get sick it's amazing I love that stuff it's incredible but that's a good one if you did Red Bull you know there's an energy drink and not because the whole thing with Verve is get off Verve or get off Red Bull and get on a healthy energy drink right and look at all these fans 39 million fans 4.8 million fans so it's like switch to an energy a healthy energy drink and make money and you go get in the conversations on these look at this just millions that of fans that one right there is a gold mine that one right there is a gold mine yeah now, hey you know cuz i think i think uh, you can send out vima verve as like a um, you know send out a can or whatever it is so they try it but i mean the the call to action there is you know yeah you know, get off get off paying for these get onto a healthy one that you make money with yeah. so i mean <laughs> No, and you know what's really cool about that? I don't know if you follow that, but there's this whole young people's revolution or something they call it, YPR, and there, yeah. there, there are 21 year old, 25 year old kids making 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars a month selling Verve on college campuses. It's really they're really doing something with the young young kids, which I love. I love to see young guys getting in there and not saying I'm going to go down to corporate America and 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 work for the man the rest of my life. So I I love that. Let's give me another one. We we do have a Vima Verve template in there. Also, Tracy, uh, if you're loading pages in the third step of the wizard, select direct sales, scroll down to Vima Verve. I believe there's a couple of templates in there too. Um, another one was love, love. Remember love? What was it? Uh, finding love. Let me go find this one here. Finding hey, I love. Point out yeah. yeah, go ahead. Quick. Um, I mean, you look at these pages. Unless that's a Red Bull or something, all the ones below. We've, we've been in conversations with a lot of people with really active fan pages, and almost all of them struggle to make any money with their fan page. And we mentioned it earlier, but it's such a really important point when you're looking at this. Look at these fan pages, and you have a lot to offer them. I mean, even just give it, like say, hey, I'm going to help you, you know, give value to your fans. So let's, let's partner up. We could do some training presentations. I can bring this content. You can interview me to make yourself an authority for your fan base. There's a lot of things you can do to help these these fan page owners because they 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 might look like it's kind of like our uh, our CEO Renee. He's always got his a uh, personality quadrant, and like I don't know how to do it, but, but those <laughs> the people getting really good results, a lot of times they're like crazy promoters, but they don't have the analytical side or they're not sure how to like convert this into actual money or do anything with all these people that they're attracting. So if you can help them and bring in some, uh, you know, analytical side and some strategy for them to how to really engage their fans and you can start presenting things and do weekly shows, whatever it might be, uh, it's pretty exciting stuff. So think about that when you're looking through all these fan pages who, are, who have tons of people looking at them, but they don't know how to make money with it. Um, no, I, lo I love that. And uh, you, you just think about what you could do with that, right? It's like, it, 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 and, and here's what I, here's the time I'd say, everybody listening, you, you invest in the software and you start using it. You get real creative and you do some successful stuff and you're using 22 social app and our app. I think it's okay for me to say this, but we could organize a hangout, whether it's a normal hangout or a special hangout, for you to share what we did and we'll help promote your business to our list. Because if you come up with a successful strategy and tactic for a niche and we can help promote you and we can share it with everybody else, I'm up for doing that kind of stuff. Because the, 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 there's going to be people out there that are thinking of stuff that we don't think about, that we don't know. And... Uh, and I see the orders coming in for for the software. So thank you, everybody. I see the orders with this. The orders are just streaming in. You guys are getting your your savings. You're joining the team. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah. Um, I, I typed in, I I typed in the word love real quick. Look at love. Now look at this for a second. So look at this one. Dog lovers. <laughs> 811,000 likes. Okay. <laughs> look how many Three, people are talking about it. 3.8 million talking about it. And yes, you can private message them. Now, look, I went to the website or their fan page, and look at their arrow points to the message box. It's like <laughs> it's just a little. They probably want you to like them, but they're pointing to the message box, right? But they want you to message them, or they would have that turned off. You know, as a fan page owner, you can turn off the message box so you don't get people to message you. 
right? If they leave it on, they must want you to message them. But then you look at their little things here. They don't. They don't got stuff going on. They got. Uh, you know. Again, you go back to the engagement on these things, and when you see a site like this has 434 shares, all kinds of comments, 85 comments. You get involved in this. You start doing that. Your name, people track you, follow you. You will get traffic. You will get sales. You will get customers. It's that simple. Okay, what's another one? Um, question here. I have a friend who won three Grammys. How can he use your software and 22 Social to expand his fan base? I think I'm going to um, – give me one second on this. So I'm going to share a screen um, real quick. And I, I'm only sharing this because uh, it actually just happened. Uh, minutes ago, it just ended. Uh, if, oh, if yeah. anybody's, yeah, if anybody's familiar with Will and Monifa, uh, they did the Pumpcast News, which was the viral videos had over 15 million views this year. Uh, they caught them at the pump, and they sang uh, "Living on a Prayer" from Bon Jovi. Did you see that, Greg? No. Oh man, really? It's hilarious. Um, yeah, let me just go to the viral videos, I, and I'll just I'll just play this real quick. You can't see it, but um, let me just skip through. It was the Pumpcast News where he's singing at the pump. <laughs> you didn't see this one? It's hilarious. No, I guarantee my son did. He hangs out on YouTube. He, you know, these young generation. He lives on YouTube. I don't spend too much time on YouTube. Like yeah. no time. No time. Uh, yeah, this is I, actually. You know what? I I I try to not do a lot of this, but I, I got I watched it one day. I was, I was it was hilarious. And a couple minutes later, I got a phone call, and they wanted a little help. So. Uh, and Andrew and I, we did this brand forum real quick, just in our you know normal fashion of brand makeover within 15, you know, <laughs> within 24 hours. We you know we created everything, and she's actually does multi-level marketing also. And we snuck her, we snuck it in with a story. Uh, we actually we actually made her story talk about um, about her life and her, and then you know her product recommendations actually goes over to her company, her company page. So that's how she does it. But the reason I'm bringing this up is because Willa and Monifa just, this is her story, hold on, they just did a hump day hangout. And they got started, they had their brand, they, you know, they all of a sudden they got a lot of attention real fast uh, from the media, from from their, uh, you know, on YouTube, everywhere. They just got a ton, of, they, see this is their first one, they got a ton of media attention, they wanted to hold it, so they knew they had to start a fan page, and they just started doing hangouts because now this allows them to connect with their fans. You can see their fans, you know, I love you guys, and just great comments coming in. And this is helping them to build their fan base, build their list, so that that way they call their shots. You know, they if, if it's their list, they call the shot. That That's what it is, not not the TV exec or somebody else. I don't know, I, was, I, I just saw that question come in, and I think, you know, if the person won three Emmys, they're having their moment right now. It's, maybe it's more than 15 minutes of fame, but if they're having that moment, that's when they're getting the most attention, and attention is the most important commodity. So why not bring that attention somewhere where you can reconnect with them over and over, like a hangout, a fan page? Well, let me uh, – let me. Uh, so I happen to be business partners with a young teen superstar named Symphonique, and she was on Nickelodeon. She's a singer, and really that's an easy one, right? So you take – you go to the – the, and I don't know what music genre they are in, but if I, if I type in uh, hip-hop because she was a hip-hop person, or she is a hip hop. I hit go go. I can go and get engaged on these fans and start introducing Symphonique to these hip hop pages. And again, when you start talking music, now you're talking these fan pages. Millions of fans. Million, 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 million. I mean, there's just tons of fans. So what you want to do if they won a Grammy, who, what, what uh, category were they in? What genre were they in? Who are who are the other people that are in that genre that are big? Use those keywords. Look up those keywords. Go to those pages. Get involved in conversation with those pages, and even even stuff like, hey, has anyone ever heard of this person? Right? It's like you don't you don't even. That's one of those spam those questions that you can get away with for your very first post. And, and when you go to these questions and get involved in the conversation and go, has anyone heard of this person? You know. Uh, and start getting questions and getting people engaged in that conversation. You'll drive fans. You can drive traffic. You can drive awareness. Does that make sense? That makes sense Some, to me. Sometimes when I say it, I wonder if I say it to where it makes sense. It makes sense to me. <laughs> no, it I makes think, sense to me. Well, Jerry, I think it always comes down to like what value are they providing. Um, it's, I'm just wondering. You know, He's done all this great stuff. He's got the credibility part figured out. So he can pull that credibility card. Like This guy is an authority in the music industry if he's won all these awards. So what 
why would I go check out his page? I mean, I would listen to something if he's got if he's going to talk about something or share some knowledge. Uh, what well, we found, uh, Nia Peoples, she was a celebrity actress. She's now, she wants to write a book, and she's building her, her fan base and her following by doing weekly hangouts discussing topics that she's learned from her experience. And she's going to use all this engagement and these conversations she has every week and the feedback she's getting in the comments to write a book. And now she's got all these thousands of people who are along with her on this journey of writing the book. So she has a ton of customers already that are going to buy that book because they were part of the journey. It's it's just oh, there you go. She's you're pulling it up. Um, I think he's got the credibility figured out. He's got to create some value in what he could. I, I'm not sure how how he'd use your tool, Greg. Uh, and you kind of mentioned some ideas, so that's what I'm saying. But but to convert them into his own list and then customers, he's got to be a little creative on the marketing side. Right. Right. No, and that, it really does come back down to that. It comes back down to the strategic, tactical thought process and sequence, and being patient and don't be. And there's no, there's no get rich quick scheme. You know, you're building a business, you're building a. But, but as Jerry alluded to, if he's got that and there's in some press or some PR, you really want to leverage that as best you can when you have something going. So you got to, you got to try to, you know, work extra hours and do that kind of stuff. Um, what else should we do? <laughs> I'm just I'm just having fun going through some pages here. Um, I'm sharing my screen. I saw one, somebody wanted me to search for uh, relationships. So I did relationships. And I got 500 results for relationships. The secret life of an American teenager. Now sometimes it pulls up di different results like this, like because the word is in there. And I, I wish I could block out some of those curse words, but uh, uh, cute relationships, deep life quotes. But just look at that. Hundreds of thousands, millions of people. Want to be message, need engagement, and then go back to you know. Sometimes you find this engagement people that they're getting just tons of engagement. A relationship is not a test, so why cheat? I mean, that's just the engagement on that 1.7 million people. I mean, those really, you know, if you can create a good strategy and a good tactic to get these people that have that kind of engagement, 2.9 million likes and 1.7 million engagement. It'll change your life, like my son did. It'll change your life because they can drive massive traffic and massive brand recognition to a product or service that you may offer, as long as it provides value and you're serving them and serving their people. Hey, Greg, this might even be fun. I mean, if you're just looking for some fan pages, forget about business for a minute. What about <laughs> pleasure? I mean, what if I just wanted to like, what if I was into fishing and I just didn't know there was an awesome fishing fan page? <laughs> And you know what? That's that's really a good that's a good point because you can find fan pages, but you want to find the ones that have the good engagement because yeah. you know you want to get involved in the conversation. Which ones have the best engagement on fishing? So I did fishing here, and let's see here. I like to eat fish, not necessarily fish for them. <laughs> I'm trying to find my my computer all of a sudden started running slow. Yeah, the hangout. Pulls a lot of bandwidth, especially now with the HD. It's pretty neat. Um. Cool. Well, has anybody else got any other searches? Uh, what else do we want to cover? I don't know. The link is still dropped in there. If anybody wants to jump out on the Hangout, they can jump out with us. Uh, feel free to jump in. We're cresting almost yeah. two hours. Almost two hours. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm okay closing this up. Let's see if there's any more questions. Uh, we'll let's do a last call on questions. Folks can drop in into the Hangout with us, or you can just leave something in the comment box. Yeah, I think this, I mean, what I'm seeing is this is a really critical part of your marketing strategy, using this tool. It's, it's as simple as that. I mean, you need to get traffic. You can go spend money. Um, you could, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do, like you said at the beginning, but why wouldn't you start where there's already activity and people hanging out? I mean, that's what Facebook's all about, and you're just making this so simple to find those gold mine pages. So I, I think it's pretty exciting. I mean I'm I'm pumped to start using it. You know, we've we've just begun ourselves diving into it. So you know we have a vision of helping people create their own shows and create all this engagement. It's really fun using Google Hangouts and Facebook. So I see a lot of these fan pages being great potential customers of ours. So it's gonna be a good place to start. And then you know if we land a few of them we could be interviewed on them. I don't know. I mean, there's, there's just so many possibilities with that's not being tapped into. It's just sitting there. <laughs> and I look at them and like, these fan pages, they're just sitting there just totally, uh, I mean, there's just 
they're not they don't know what to do. And nobody really does, right? These fan no, page owners. It, it, it's, it's just something you, that everybody should add to the mix. And here's something we didn't talk about that's really, really important. So uh, as you become a business owner, you start, to, you start to understand, you know, time is money. And you understand, you know, what your time is. And you, you start to, as you grow, you start to allocate your time towards the higher money-making activities. I don't do a lot of this FB lead finder private messaging and getting engaged in social media conversations. But I have team members that do. So I have a virtual assistant. And my virtual assistant, I write what I want her to write. I she logs in as Facebook as me because I want these I want the messages coming to me because I'm when I'm looking to do big joint ventures, I'm not going to trust that to anybody. But I don't do it right, so I have her log into my Facebook account. I write what I want her to write, and then I have her private message. I give her exactly the search term. I give her exactly the the, the niche that I want to go after, and then I have her private message ten people a day. Right, and even even sometimes just private messaging my friends. You know, I, I have like I don't I don't have a big friend base. I have like maybe three thousand friends, but you know I need to private message my friends. And, hey, do you guys want to check out what I'm doing? Do you want to partner with me? Is there something we can do to make some money together? I don't have time to do that, right? So you can get your virtual assistant, and once you kind of understand the tools and what's going on, they can invite people to your events, both live and physical. They can invite people to your meetups. They can invite people to what's your website. They can invite people to be guest bloggers for you. They can find you, invite people to joint venture with you. You can teach them how to get involved in conversations and give them pre-written posts and pre-written comments and pre-written things, and they can do it for you, right? And so you got to have the tool and you got to own the tool. Get in now. Go get it now. Save your 20 bucks before it's too late. That code that we gave for 22 Social, save 20 now, that will not be good at midnight tonight. And actually, that's kind of a gracious of us. We should have ended it right after this thing's over. If you don't, if you don't go get it now, that code will not be extended. And we will be raising the price, and we will be separating training from the product price sometime in the near future because it's just a steal to get the training and the software program. And uh, I'm going to ask 22 Social that they give me some training material that I can add to our members area about the 22 social apps. I know they have great training videos and we'll just put those right in there because these two tools combined with one another fit like a glove. We're not competitive. We're working together. And actually when we met and I got excited about their tool, I didn't even put the two and two together. I didn't even think about it. Uh, and then I talked to Jerry uh, uh, a little bit about it and then I talked to Renee about it and it was like, wow, these really do fit together. So this is a win-win-win for everybody. A two and two together, huh? Two and two equals six. <laughs> In our world, it's 22. Uh, I got a tough question for you. Really tough one. Okay. I, I build and sell chicken coops. Would this be dumb to use for this? Would it be dumb to use your product for this? Yeah. Who who buys chicken coops? That's what I'm thinking too. Farms, right? Farms. Right. Anybody who wants to grow their own chicken. You might even you might even want to go after um, all that people. You might even want to go after websites like um, this is way out in left field. But like, hey Greg, pop this in, would you? Uh, survival websites. So survival, like uh, like you know, end of times. I have to I have to grow my own chickens, you know, because I'm afraid of you know, 2012 or. What, what's the term for that? The hot term for that? They're they're called lifers or they what, what's uh, what's the, there's a term for for that whole industry. I don't know. Uh, I what is it? Or something. Uh, I don't remember what it is. But I typed in survival. There you go. I got 500 results. <laughs> I typed in farms. You got results. And again, you can look at the results and go. Uh, you want to. And again, you're not necessarily going to go out to the fan page owners. You're going to go out to the people that are engaged in those conversations. Or even the fan page owners. I mean, for 97 bucks, how many fan, how many chicken coops? How, what kind of deal do you have to make to make it worth it for you? I mean, I guess that that's the question. You know, is is the tool going to save you time into getting to into you know communicating with your customer, and is the tool going to pay for itself? So, right. you know, if I was looking for you know to sell chicken coops, I'd probably be looking to sell you know somebody who needs multiple you know lots of chicken coops, you know, a whole farm. And in that case, one deal would definitely do it. So, right, yeah. right, right. I think it makes sense to me. Can you search? You, can you, I'm sorry. You you could figure it out. I mean, there's no yeah. doubt you can figure it out. I did farmers, I did farm, I did survival. Uh, again, it goes back to doing that keyword research or going, okay, the like-minded people hang out here or a part of this. But see, that's another thing with those joint ventures. You have farmers that have fan pages. They're not monetizing that fan page. They're doing it to serve their customer base. They're doing, they're doing it to 
because somebody told them they're supposed to do it, right? Now, I'm going to share something with you guys that, that I, I don't know anyone else doing this, right? But in the right niche, in the right verticals, and this is probably one of them, you can go to these fan page owners and say, look, I'll pay you five bucks, I'll pay you ten bucks, if you'll post this message on your fan page on a daily basis and I'll pay you ten dollars a post. Now with the right engagement, the right post, when they post it as the fan page owner, they get the distribution, you get your branding out there, you get your stuff out there, and that's one of the strategies we use. We pay people to make our to post our posts for us. So it's like buying traffic, but I'm not paying CPMs and I'm buying traffic from people that don't sell traffic so they don't know what it's worth they don't know what kind of results you're gonna get and you can literally buy thousands and thousands of visitors to the right site to the right page. If you can get it for ten bucks that'd be pretty sweet for one of these big fan pages. I think, well, uh, even so I've done fan pages that had two million likes half a million engagement for eighty dollars. Wow. Kim Kardashian and, used to get ten thousand dollars a tweet. Yeah. <laughs> so, but 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 until she knew she could, she didn't, right? And so right. these people, all these fan page owners that have lots of likes, they don't know what they can get. Dude, that's that's awesome. So that's how you have to get in contact with the page owner then and negotiate yeah. that a little bit. Right. I see um, another order in. Thank you, Kimberly, for for jumping in. We appreciate it. The orders um, are still coming in, everybody. Keep them coming. Actually, Tracy's got a good question too, which was, you know, so if she gets this today, grabs the affiliate link, can she promote this to her team with the save twenty now code until the end of the night? And yes. her team? Okay. So until yes. the end of the night. Yeah. So you can you can grab the affiliate link, get it out to your teams. You can even show this video, this whole hangout session to them. Um, I mean you can just grab our feed ID fifty one sixty seven, put it in your twenty two social page, and then just like like below our video right now, the green button says save twenty now, code save twenty now. If you click that, that's gonna send you through to get the uh FB FB um lead finder. I don't think anybody knew that. Because I have code save twenty now on the button. I don't think anybody's pressed that button to actually get FB lead finder, but that's where you that's where you get it from our page. Um but you can put it on your page too. Uh a couple more Greg, one um, motivational quotes. We're looking for um, motivational quotes. There was another one here. Oh, reality, reality show. show. Yeah. And James now says, quotes, you know, quotes. Quotes is Q U O. There's no E. There's quotes. Huh? How do you spell quotes? I'm not very good. What's what's going? It doesn't look right. Motivational quote. Oh, I gotta share my screen. Hold on. Yeah. Q U O A T E, right? Uh, Q U O T E. T. Oh, gotcha. Let me. Oh, I forgot to share my screen. Hold on. Share my screen. I don't know how well people can see this on the Hangout, but motivational quotes: 500 results, 752,000 likes is the number one liked, and the engagement has 146,000 crazy motivational blank. Motivational, inspirational quotes, bodybuilding motivation, best love, friendship. This is awesome. You know, this is what's cool about this. I, I literally, I'm so glad somebody said this because literally three days ago I made a to-do for myself to go get a whole bunch of pre-done motivational, inspiring quotes and then get my virtual system to load them up in my uh, social oomph thing so it automatically will post them on my Facebook and Twitter on an automated basis. So I... I hadn't even thought about using this tool to go find the sites to get all the motivational quotes, but I bet I can find all the motivational quotes that I could ever find right here. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Wow, that's awesome. Book publishers, that's your thing I got to look up. Book publishers. Any more? Um, yeah, reality, reality show. show. Oh, reality show. David says, you know, remember a fan page post only get 20% exposure unless you promote it in some way. I think it gets less than 20% exposure um, when you post on your fan page. So that's a good point, David, but here's what you want to do. Um, when people are on your page, you can build a better list and make sure everyone sees or at least more people see your posts, and here's how you do it. You're watching us live right now. If you go to the top of the screen, hover over the like button. Okay, If anybody's on this right now, hover over the like button. It's going to say, get notifications. Click get notifications. We try to we try to tell we try to you know bring that up as many times as possible. Thank you, Greg. So get notifications right there. If you just click on get notifications, now every time we update our page, you get a little red alert. 
So how we try to communicate through Facebook is, yes, we do do promoted posts. We try to get into more than 20% of our audience or at least 20% of our audience because we try to post, you know, engaging stuff that they like and we try to push engagement. So we hope that, you know, honestly, we hope that 10 to 20% of our customers, our, our fans see our posts. Um, we hope that at least 10, another 10 to 20% of them have clicked on get notifications and then we hope to have t at least 20 to 40 to 60 to or more percent of them on a lead list. Hey, where Jared. We communicate with them through email. Yeah. I, I think he's saying that just to be aware if you're going to pay a fan page money to oh, do a post. For sure. Just be aware that they're only going to get a yeah, limited no, you, amount of exposure. You, you, you really want to get with the people that are. Uh, they have a lot of engagement, right? And I, I see a question where somebody wants to see about where they get their affiliate links. So let me do this. I'm gonna I'm on my screen again. Let's go over reality shows and I'm gonna log back into the members area and show you exactly how to get the affiliate link. But look at this reality shows. This is another one that's just awesome. I have another case study about a guy that was doing South Park and he had some South Park figurines and he went to this fan page with forty four million likes and he got involved in the conversation and then after like four or five days started offering, hey, I got these little figurines for sale and he started making a thousand dollars a day selling figurines for a while. Incredible. So these are like-minded people. These, these, these are, look at the, the engagement are in the hundreds of thousands on most of them. They're in the tens of millions for the fans and a lot of these fan page owners, you can message them and I'm telling you, some of these fan page owners have never monetized their site and they love to take $100, $50 from you to, to, to post it on their stuff. And believe me, when they have engagement of 500000 200000 300000 800000 you will get some traffic, I promise you. Boy, that's and such a great way to filter, man. I mean, if you're a weight loss person, how about like the biggest loser TV show? There's, you could you find your target audience so easily by the shows they watch. Yep, exactly, exactly. So now let me go, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm here. I'm gonna go to membership area. So I'm going back to the main. When you first log into our membership area, this is the landing page you get on, and under here affiliate info, you hover over affiliate info, and it says get a banner, get affiliate banners and links, and then in here is here's your affiliate link right here. That's your general affiliate link that sends them to the home page of fbleafinder.com, which has a 22 minute sales video. We're gonna test that and do some split testing on that, and then we have an affiliate link right here for like the live events like if you want to send people to our live hangouts that we're doing each week you would go here and under the source code you're gonna just it, it gives you like a an HTML link you gotta highlight in between this and we have videos showing you how to do this and of course we have live help and we're all over our support desk we're gonna get, get help you with this stuff but it's all right in here we get your affiliate links we'll show you exactly how to do it we'll get you help and you can do it cool cool stuff awesome. well we're coming up to two hours how are you guys feeling? About to wrap it up. I think we've gone through all the questions. And Greg, I mean, amazing content today. This was really fun. And you brought some energy, a lot of demos for us. So really appreciate you coming out. And I hope everyone out there takes advantage of the deal and start using this because it's all about leveraging your time and energy. And I think this is the, the best way to do that. Let Just leverage all those fan pages out there that are doing the work for you. And that's what we're, our philosophy is with our app, so saving time and money and getting the maximum results. Really good stuff, Greg. Cool, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate your guys' time and everyone who sat through this two hours. Wow. Thank you very much. God bless you. And I always end everything I do saying this. Do what I do. Wake up every day with an attitude of gratitude and tell somebody you love them. Thank you, everybody. Awesome, thank you Greg. so much, Greg. Appreciate you. Andrew, thank you. And everybody who's watching, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for all your questions. Thank you for joining us live if you popped out with us. We do appreciate all that. And um, we're really looking forward to bringing you more content just like this in the very near future. See you next Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific time. 3, 3 p.m. Eastern. We'll see you soon, oh. everybody. <laughs> Later.